What's up guys, Auto Fanatics. So, gonna come take the AMG GTR for a blast on my lunch break during the week and uh, strap the camera on, we'll go for a little bit of a drive and tell you three months into owning this car why I absolutely still love it and was one of the best car buying purchases I ever made in my life. So, let's get the camera strapped in, let's go for a drive. Alright guys, we're just going to go for a little bit of a blast in the AMG GTR. And like I said, I've only owned this car. Oh, the road is closed. you got to be fucking kidding me. Detour. Only owned the car three months. And every time I get in it, I, I, I'm floored by it. The sound, the looks, the feel, the steering, the braking, the everything about this car is just so good. So that's how you know when you bought the right performance car. If you really, really love to drive, uh, this car is just total bonkers. Let that car go in front of us. We'll just do a hard launch. Actually, you know what? I'm going to shut this off. ESP off. I'm going to hold it. Now, this little knob, when you play around with this, this changes, I'm not turning it all the way off, I'm not gonna end up in the, in the ditch. But you play around with this, and it makes a pretty big. Oh my God. <laughs> absolute, absolute insanity, and this is like a dirt road that I am not going on. Feel the dual clutch slipping it's like it reminds me of the old smgs and the bmws and the e-gears and the lamborghini Gallardos. i don't know i like it. it it adds character to the car it's not pdk perfect you know but uh this, this thing will light it up everything about that car I love so you know there's certain cars that as an enthusiast you get that vibe all the way around that visceral 
natural vibe. You enjoy the looks of it, the styling of it. And, you know, the G80 is a great car, but it can't hold a candle to something like this. It really can. I mean, this is a big car. It's not a small car, but I feel like the car wraps around me way better than like a Shelby Mustang, the, new, the one that I saw, the GT350R. Even a Camaro ZL1, I was in a ZL1 the other day, and that car is gigantic. Um, and I just think even though it has a big long hood, it doesn't feel that way when you're driving it. It really doesn't. This car shrinks around you. And it's incredible. I mean, I'm on backcountry roads right now. We've got a horse crossing. I mean, look at these roads. to me coming up here this afternoon on my lunch break where I should be eating lunch and relaxing this is my relaxation this is what I get out of it this is when I started the auto fanatic channel with the GT350 this is what I was talking to people about this is where I was connecting with automotive enthusiasts that own that car this is why you buy the car this is why you share the commonality you know owning performance cars I mean I don't know to me this is like a drug you know I don't drink I don't gamble I don't do anything crazy I don't have any like bad habits the only bad habits I have I love cars I spend a lot of money on cars but this is what I enjoy I'm not big into going on the track you know I don't do track stuff anymore because of my, my injuries but I enjoy driving the car by myself I don't like going in groups you know you go in a group like a lot of these guys go in rallies of 20 30 40 cars you know all the exotics they make a lot of noise and what happens is you're limited to how fast you could drive and then you create a lot of attention in the public, the police come, and then you're gonna get yourself arrested and have your car impounded. I like to drive alone, maybe with a friend, one, two cars, that's it. Um, and even like right now, I just love driving this thing alone. I don't have to worry about anybody doing something stupid uh, that's gonna possibly cause the cops to come out and say, hey, what are you guys doing? You know, driving well beyond the speed limit on back roads. But, uh, hey, listen to that downshift. This thing is violent, man. It is violent. So if this Porsche, what is it? Porsche Jeep, Cayman, the Cayman GTS in front of us. If he goes a little bit faster, I'll get on. I'm going to make a bank left. Now we're going to take that loop all the way back. Also, the seats in this car... One of the best seats I've ever had besides the Alfa Romeo Quadrifoglio Sparco seats. Uh, that's very important too. The same thing I'm complaining about in my G80. I cannot stand that seat. It looks cool, but let me tell you something. When you're getting in and out of the car 15, 20 times a day and you got lower back pelvic issues, you're going to hate that car. That was a big, big mistake that I bought that car without even driving it or even sitting in it. But um, it kind of like served a purpose. Now I'm ready to move on from the G80 and get another visceral animal back into my life that I can daily drive because I can't drive this car daily this car's a little bit too flashy and a little bit too aggressive to daily drive in New York but if I live south which is the game plan I'll drive this thing daily I'll sell everything this will be my only car maybe I'll buy an SLS to complement it turn uh, I gotta turn ways on 
because now they got that road closed and I don't know how to get back <laughs> without using that on my way. So, like I said, thanks for coming along for a little, we call it an AMG GTR blasting talk. And uh, stay tuned for more content. We'll see you guys soon, guys. Take care. Road is closed.